Well, as you can see, there was no intro, and I haven't put out a video in quite a while, but I wanted to get something off my chest. After doing a seven-hour drive, and if you notice, I'm not in my normal place. I'm in a hotel room because I'm traveling to a face and body art convention in Connecticut. So, while I was on this seven-hour drive, it kind of dawned on me about the genetic fallacy that Chad wants to claim so bad for this one photo that I posted on the page. Well, Chad, you obviously don't understand genetic and geographic. And I guess I'm here to explain it to you so you can stop your uh, inane bullshit. But uh, let's see what happens. So, genetic fallacy, according to everybody, yes, we know that genetic is not genetic. It means that if, say, 6,000 years ago, somebody in one region believed in one thing, and then nowadays, because of that, we say that that person in that region or anybody in that region believes in this one thing. That is a fallacy. You cannot say that. Simple fact. The Middle East, 2,000 years ago, Everybody believed in Jesus Christ. So, to say nowadays that in the Middle East, everybody believes in Jesus Christ is a genetic fallacy. Why? Because there are mostly Muslims there, not Christians. So, that's your problem with your genetic fallacy, is we're not carrying it over to the present day saying that this region actually believes in this because you're an idiot. So, when we say that 4,000 years ago in Egypt, people believed in Ra, more than likely, yes, they did, because there was no other God around. Or if there was, it probably wasn't in the region to where anybody would believe otherwise. So, this is a geographic picture that you see on the page. Meaning, back in that time, in that geographic region, those people believed whatever God it was at that time. We are not saying nowadays in those regions that they believe it. This is something that you need to understand. You are a complete and utter moron for thinking otherwise. You at least did one thing great, and you even didn't know this until you researched it, which is great. You finally actually did something right, and you did it in an atheistic way. You actually researched something from your own Bible because God forbid you would think anything other than a horse with a horn on its head and wings is a unicorn. Great. You put out that video. I'm glad for you. So, what else can I say, Chad? You're a complete and utter waste of time and you're a moron. Get a clue and get an education.